Alright, let's get started here on the second match. So we have Navneet on the blue. Playing on wetlands. Playing on wetlands. We'll go through the maps through the map in, in a second. Let's go through the particulars first. So we have Navneet building a mill right away on berries. Playing as the Abbasid Dynasty in blue. On the other side, in pink, we have Boy, also playing as the Abbasid Dynasty. It was House Mill. Navneet went house. Uh, he went mill, and with a new villager, he built a house. So seeing how, thi how it affects things, uh, yeah, Navneet has got a bit more for the bank. Uh, yeah, looking at the map here, there's not a lot of wood. Not a lot of wood here. There are a few patches scattered around the map. This is still more than prairie, I, I believe. There are these two lakes, each with four deep water fish. Deep water fish keep uh, keep resupplying. Uh, they they will return after a while and can be gathered again. So very important. If you win these, food for the rest of the game. You don't need farms. You don't need uh, pastures. You can just fish, and that's guaranteed food. Looking at the wood lines very far away from the town center, I think it was by design. Because, like, the hybrid map, fighting on water is going to be very important, but obviously fighting on land is going to be crucial. Crucial here. Whoever has the best land fights, I think, will be able to, um, to continue his uh, water um, production. Yeah, so only seven for boy, only seven on the food, also seven on food for Navneet. Yeah, but Navneet, I think, is going for a fast feudal build. Only now going on to stragglers, and the boy is going on a bit of wood first. Only three on gold, so I don't think boy is even going for a um, for wheelbarrow. And yeah, Ambassador has a small bonus. That I think makes Abbasid really good in this map. Which is, docks are half price. Docks being half price, docks being 75. I think it's really good for them. Uh, they do not have... Um, they, they can basically produce them a lot sooner. Like one or two, even two villagers uh, earlier. Uh, but neither player really going for water in Dark Age. A bit of a, a missed opportunity, I think. Oh, and boy's going for trade wing. Boy's going for trade wing. He's got the trade right behind him. This is going to be a short trade route. But this is going to be very difficult to hit. Navneet will either have to be very aware that this is a possibility and go all around the base of boy. Or he's going to have to go through the base of boy, which is tough. In Feudal Age, that DC is really good. Oh, this is really good. This is going to be really interesting to see. The culture wing will make aging cheaper. Will also make every single tech cheaper for Abbasid. So it's really smart here that Navneet get, get, got zero tax going uh, into, into Feudal Age. He now gets uh, Preservation of Knowledge. Which reduces the cost of all tax, including age ups. Uh, by 20%. So that means everything is going to be 20% cheaper, which scales really well as the game goes along. Makes some really pricey tax really affordable. Pricey tax, like uh, the last eco tax, are, are very affordable. The last blacksmith tax, all of those pesky um, uh, university tax, they cost about 200 resources less, because I think they cost 300 food or wood and then 700 gold. And now we should see preservation of knowledge getting researched still a little bit until Trade Wing comes live. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Don't forget to set your traders, boy. Don't forget your traders. Oh, Navnik may not know of the traders. There they go. Still no water from anyone. Navnit. Navnit going on to water now. Let's see what he knows of the map. Okay, he knows of the two ponds. And in the south lake, he sees three of the fish and he doesn't see any fishing ships. You can reasonably assume Boy doesn't have a dock here. 
And he's keeping tabs on boy. He's oh, he sees the trade wing now. Does he recognize the trade wing? Okay, on the other side, he doesn't see much of a lake, so he wants to contest this lake. Let's see what the boy knows. Oh, boy knows nothing. What? Oh, he wanted to see for trade. <laughs> he wants to see for trade. Yeah, trade is yeah, not what Navnit's going for. Well, let's see here quickly. He already has um, preservation of knowledge, so going for the tax now is a good choice. So let's see here the the horticulture. The first food tax is 40, 40 wood, 80 gold. Instead of the 50 wood and the 100 gold. So we save 30 resources here. Pretty good, I'd say. Oh, and we got the Grand Bazaar tax, so those uh, traders are gonna be bringing in resources. Oh, and boys building a market in the corner. <laughs> so these traders are bringing in loads of gold. These traders are gonna be bring loads of gold in, and these are added. A lot of discussion happens all around trade and then, um, like these traders are free. He doesn't get this cheaper tax like uh, Nafni gets. He doesn't get cheaper uh, eco buildings. He doesn't get cheaper TCs. He's gonna get loads of gold and he's going triple range. Triple range might mean with the with the way his economy is scaled, might mean uh, camel archers. He's getting loads of wood now. 14 villagers, so I'm actually inclined to, to say archers. Archers with trade ring, let's see the gold flow in. That's a lot of gold coming in. <laughs> a lot of gold. Is he creating more traders? I don't, I don't imagine he is. He's actually not creating more traders. So triple range. And he's getting archers. Getting archers. Gonna get archers, possibly... Um, I don't know, knights are pretty good. Oh, I think if he goes, if boy goes military wing, he has access to boot camp. Access to composite pose makes these archers really, really good. Okay, here's a horseman trying to raid a little bit. Oh, Navnit knows. Navnit knows. So he's going for the trade. Going straight for the trade. Already on water. The fishing boats. And he's on both lakes. Already with an outpost. Ooh, arrow slits, I think, is gonna be it's gonna be very good. We'll defend those early raids, and now boy's gonna be out of water. Gonna be out of gold. There he is, out of gold. Are the traders about to collect uh, the gold from the market? This is the scout and the horseman. I think the scout might be the virgin. But you never know. You never know. Okay, microwing that horseman even. Navinit's paying real attention here to detail and Boy's gonna have to protect the trade. Oh, and with two horsemen, this is so dangerous now. Navnit can't afford to, to fight under that. Uh, oh, and I don't think Boy can really afford to um, build a an outpost because it, archers are are great. They're cheap, but they're so wood heavy. Navnit. Oh, this is really interesting. They're both getting good economies in different ways. Obviously, boy with trade, but I'm having it with um, this water and ah, uh, here's more hits, and that villager is dead for sure. Oh no, the ah, uh, the horsemen kind of got in each other's way. Oh, boy should give that up. Just give up the gold. Give up the gold. Get wood. You're getting the uh, trash units anyway. And yeah, getting spearmen, horsemen, and archers, which I'm. I'm not a fan of, <laughs> not a fan of, of going, uh, going with all types of units. Uh, but now, boy, floating wood, of course. Yeah, but that's, this is defended now. Very good defense. We kept all four villagers? Ah, uh, the archers are so good at this. When they, when they are lightly massed, they're so good. Now a few archers from Navneet as well. I would like to see some, uh, some blacksmith upgrades, especially from Navneet. Oh, and it's getting a doe. Those are really intelligent here. Those will be able to fight from the water. Oh, I don't see a blacksmith for Navneet. Navneet definitely has the eco to support a blacksmith. Uh, and he gets cheaper tax. Cheaper tax, um, 
Like, the blacksmith is very expensive. Usually a reason why... White stuff to manage an army with the blacksmith. It's just... Like, they're, they're very pricey. Well, archers can take down the, the dough. For sure. Oh, but six and a half tiles. They only have five tiles of range, right? Yeah, so that's gonna be tough. So boy's gonna be, be able to fight in the center of the map. Navneet is thinking castle. Very, very smart here from Navneet. Thinking castle age already. Got a, it's got a pretty good economy in castle age. There he goes. Military wing as well. Military wing as well. So not going trade whatsoever. This is boy's timing. He needs to use his uh, army advantage. To take a good fight. But this isn't a good fight. I think uh, Navneet wins here. This is just such a big uh, mass of archers, though. Uh, but the archers are get, about to get overrun by the horses. Our uh, boy just doesn't have the food economy. To do anything, but here comes here come the, um, the reinforcements and there are spears here. Those spearmen will do a good job clearing the horsemen, clearing the scout as well. Scouts often... I wouldn't say they're key, but they are important in these fights. They allow you to, um, to gain a lot of vision and to get a good strategic view of what's going on. Uh, Don Avnit is like two minutes where he doesn't really want to be attacked. Boy should build a couple of rams here. I think a couple of rams might be able to end the game, forces a fight. Normally does it force a fight, forces a fight on boy's terms. And boy is just a huge army. These archers, oh, they now have blacksmith upgrades and he's getting ranged armor as well. Ooh, and Navneet doesn't, Navneet some stone. He wants to get either a keep or a second TC and that's going to get denied now. Villagers are getting killed. It's not the end of the world for Navneet though. Oh, all of those villagers dead. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. All right, so triple barracks. So men at arms, men at arms. Men at arms are good. They're gonna have high HP. He also immediately goes the opposite pose. <laughs> Just passing. He wants the bulk. He wants the bulk of the, the bulk of the military. Here come the two the two camels that spawn with military wing. These camels have zero armor. They do have a lot of HP. I'll give him that. But these archers are still able to just chew through them. They are so good. So much army now for boy, and the reinforcements are catching the uh, the, the, the fleeing villagers. Navni now doesn't have the economy to keep up with boy. Ah, oh, these archers here will die though. Four rams right away. If you built a ram at the start here and started chewing down the production of Navneet, you would have forced something else. Oh, Navneet! Oh, Navneet is out of gold. Navneet is out of gold, but that's that's okay. Still, the archers should carry the fight here because these archers are absolutely insane with composite bows. But but Navneet still needs the other upgrades for the archers. These archers are only good. If they actually deal damage. But look at them go. They still don't have the composite bow. So let's stay here. Let's see the difference. How long? Five seconds. Ah, oh, we're not gonna see. Not gonna see anything. The rams are starting to, to chow down here. Oh, we're not gonna see the archers. That sucks. Where are the ranges for, for Navneet? Oh, the range was right here. He's not actually building new units. So Navnit still has all of his water eco out of uh, out of control. Oh no, the, the archer are not attacking the men-at-arms. And the talk about upgrades. Imagine if the Navnit has the range, the first range upgrade. How different all of these fights would be. Archer is dealing one damage to men-at-arms instead of two. Would be huge, that's half damage. Navnit now on half the economy of boy. Boy is not even... No, actually, Boy is adding on traders. He had two traders already. And the, that ram, that ram is dealing so much damage. And so many archers hitting on those men at arms. Those men at arms have a lot of health. Uh, but they're actually taking a lot of damage from the archers here. And this is a bit of a feudal all in from, uh, from Boy. 
Using that trade to stockpile on the gold. Now boy might be thinking feudal a little bit, but... Um, yeah, not too much. He's gathering his army next to Navnit's base. So many archers here. Villagers may be able to take down the ram. But still, as long as Navnit has a little bit of gold and a little bit of food... Like, he should be able to, to produce knights. Oh, he's actually going into knights now. Lancers, I should say. Oh, which 100% counters these archers. But still, boy has to be thinking castle age right now. Either castle age, yeah, or just getting spears. Just getting spears. The danger with using lancers is always the spears. And the boy spears, they are already hardened. They are already... Well, wow, that's a weird thing to say in a cast. Uh, they already have the range tech. And uh, it's men at arms. Men at arms and lancers. Pretty good here. Navnit able to fend this off. Ooh, the archers from Boy not able to do enough. Boy needs more. Boy needs more eco. These are here defending the trade, perhaps? Not the best, uh, not the best gather. Uh, but Navnit is always going to be down as long as he doesn't have the economy to keep up with Boy. Uh, but Boy is bouncing on Fiddle Age units. Fiddle Age units are not the way, and he has ranged armor too. Ranged armor was a waste of attack. Yeah, let's see. These are delivering food and the gold. That's pretty good. This set of farms here uh, is risky, but it can work. And now Navnit's going on the offensive. He wants to maybe think about winning now. I think the Lancers are going down. However many Lancers is going to get. Oh, that's just outside the range. I think this army from Boy may be able to take this. Oh, to the range of the TC! He definitely gets this! Oh, the TC is gonna deal so much damage! Yeah, but the Lancers go the other way and they're gonna be into the eco. Ay! Ay, ay, ay! Navnit is gonna win because of the tech! Not so many villagers are about to die, boy! Calls it! Oh, it was a good attempt. I appreciate the attempt. Just what water does, right? Navnit was able to stay in the game because he always had the water to produce uh, men at arms. Let's look into the economy count. This is not just villagers, this is also with traders. Look at the difference here. Navnit was, uh, was a bit out of the game. Yeah, Navnit never really, never really able to get the military count really up, but uh, like these are really good military. These were lancers. They were um... yeah, so they were lancers. They were men at arms. Good units here. <laughs> 